Yeah, here I is again. That's me. And there's you. And I dig all you cats out there whipping and wailing and jumping up and down and sucking up that fine juice and patting each other on the back and telling each other who the greatest cat in the world is. Mr. Malenkoff, Mr. Dallenkoff, Mr. Eisenhorn, Woos and Weez and Mars and Woozer, and Mr. Woodhill and Mr. Beach Hill and Mr. Churchill and all them hills, they gonna get it straight. If they can't straighten it, they know a cat that knows a cat that's gonna get it straight. Well, I'm gonna put a cat on you was the sweetest Gonest, wailingest cat that ever stomped on this sweet swinging sphere. And they called this your cat the Naz. That was the cat's name. He was a carpenter kitty. Now the Naz was a kind of a cat that come on so wild and so sweet and so strong and so witted that when he laid it, Wham, it stayed there. Naturally, all the rest of the cat looked to see what he putting down. He said, man, look at that cat blow. Get out. Let the cat go there, man. Look at Get out the way. Let the cat. He said, man, don't bug me. Get off my back. I'm trying to dig what the cat's seeing. Jack is a cool. They're pushing the nas because they want to dig his lick, you see. Dig his milk a lick. So the nas say, <laughs> wait a minute, babies. Tell you what I'm going to do. I ain't gonna take two for 680 you cats, but I'm gonna take 12 of you studs and straighten you all at the same time. <laughs> you cats look like you pretty hip boys. You butter with me. So the Nas and his buddies was goofing off down the boulevard one day, and they run into a little cat with a bent frame. So the Nas. Look at this little cat with a bent frame, and he say, What's the matter with you, baby? And the little cat with the bent frame, he say, Well, my frame is bent, Naz. It's been bent from me in front. So the Naz look at the little cat with the bent frame, and he put the golden eyes of love on this here little kitty, and he looked right down into the windows of his soul, and he said to the little cat, he said, Straight! Cat went up straight in the now, and everybody jumping up and down say, Look what the Nas put on that boy. You dug him before, dig him now. Yes, I can feel it. Now you see the Nas are coming on so strong and so fine and so great. Talking about when's he going to appear next? What did he do there? He put it down once for the cat. The cat dug it, didn't dig it. Put it down twice, dug it, didn't dig it. Put it down the third time, the cat dug it. Wham! Walked away with his eyes bugging out here and there, bumping in there, everybody. Nas are coming on so fine and so strong. They put it on his coattail. They want him to sign the autograph. They want him to do this gig here. They want him to do that gig there. They they want to make it the radio, the video, and they're all that jazz. He can't make all that jazz. Like I explained to the cast of carbon, the kid has got his own lick. But when he know he should show to blow and cannot go, because he got some strain on him, he sends a couple of these cats that he's straightening. So came a little old 50 cent gig one day, and the Naz couldn't make it, so he put it on two of these cats. He said, boys, go straighten that third little riff over there. Boys said, take it off your mind, Naz. We got it covered. So on the way over, the boys run into a little old 20 cent pool of water. And they get right in the middle of the boat. And all of a sudden, blam, a thunderstorm, the lightning flashing and thunder roars, and the boat going up and down, and the poor cats thinking every minute going to be the last, and one cat look up, and here come the nas, cool as anyone you ever see, right across the water, walking. And the Naz is a little boy on board. I think his name is Jude on board the boat. He said, hey, Naz, can I make it out there with you? Naz said, make it, Jude. And old Jude went stomping off that boat, took about four steps, dropped his whole car. <laughs> the Naz had to stash him back on board again. So the Naz look at these kiddies and he say, what's the matter with you babies now? I said, what's going on here, boys? He said, what's taking place? <laughs> Say, what's all this fuss about here? What's going on? 
said, man, so what's going on? I said, can't you see the storm, storm, and the lightning flashing and the thunder rolling? And the Naz say, I told you stay cool, didn't I, babies? Now the fame of the Naz is jumping. The grapevine is shooting out sparks 40 feet long, and they're talking about what he said, and how I stood up to all these big bad cats and dug all that bad jazz and put him all down. And what he said he's going to do and where he's going to be and how he's going to be it till the grapevine is jumping so bad. There is now 16,000 of these studs and kiddies in the Naz's little hometown where the cat lived looking to get straight. <laughs> the Naz, no, he can't straighten them all. There's too small a place to want to hang everybody up. Nobody can make it. So the Naz look out at these 16,000 studs and kiddies and they say to him, Come on, babies. Let's get on out down the road. And there went the Naz. Swinging away ahead of all these studs and kidders and 16,000, stomping up a big, oh, big swinging beat behind them. And our great necklace of love is supercharging and charging to them. And oh, it's brother to brother and sister to sister. And the Naz is stomping on a sweet swinging beat, going down the road. And Naz talking about how pretty the flowers, how pretty the hours, how pretty me, how pretty you, how pretty he, how pretty she. Naz had them pretty eyes. He wanted everybody to see through his eyes so they could see how pretty it was. And to have such a wailing, gorgeous, Mardi Gras time that before you know it, it was scoffing time and eat Paul cats at 42 miles out of town. Ain't nobody got the first biscuit. Well, the Naz, look at these cats. And they say they're kicking the sand out there. The Naz say... You hungry, ain't you, babies? I say, yeah, Naz. We digging you so hard what you're putting down that <laughs> we didn't prepare, Naz. We goofed. Yes, that's what you call it. So the Naz say, well, uh, we got to take it easier. We wouldn't want to go ahead and order up something you might not like, would we? And they say, no, Naz, you put it down and we'll pick it up. So the Naz stepped back a few paces and he said, Oh, great swinging flowers of the fields. And they said, oh, great nonstop singular sound of beauty. And the Naz say, stamp upon the terror. And they hit it. And the Naz say, straighten your miracle of the body. And the body went up, and he says, straighten your arms. And the arms went up, and he said, higher. And the arms went higher. And the Naz say, dig infinity. And they dug it. And when they did, well, the of thunder went through. And they look in the left hand, is a great big sweet stuffed, smoked fish, and in the other, a big, thick loaf of that gone crazy honey taste in non-stop sweet swinging southern bread. Why, these polecats flipped. Naz never did nothing simple. When he laid it, he laid it. Say so when the saints, when the saints marching in, go marching in, when the saints go marching in, Hallelujah! I want to be in that number. The saints go marching in. Say so when the saints, oh, when the saints marching in, go marching in, when the saints go marching in, Hallelujah! I want to be in that number. The Zeds go marching, rubber, jiggy, jiggy, whoop, in.